whole um, thing by designing from this uh, from your IDE. So we have um, this is a different template that was designed um, using the same method, and I just want to use so this is the um, page called blogs blog page and you will see that um, almost everything here is just left blank except then we used the include tag here this include tag allows you to bring in a markup uh, to to add to bring in a part of a markup into another one so you see we used include tag and the href is going to blog post.html so it's telling the system to bring out a blog post.html here so um that means there is a file called blog post so it's going to bring this content in to this blog page like it was composed here it will bring it in like it was composed here so you can have uh, so this content now can be used in as many pages as you want i think the same thing was done here in these new arrivals these are new arrivals and then uh it's including products you got to a point where you include products and the, that's product.html so you see product.html here and so that means this is included in the new arrivals so and um, it's possible that the product is used in other places so let me find out if that is the case so that's html okay it was just used once so it's possible that we include um, let me find out does henny include all right okay all right so that's basically how you update all your code you see this checkout page this is the checkout page and um, I'm not sure we use this one the cat page yeah you see we embed a widget here We embed widget here this is where the um, script is and we embed shopping cart here on this one in the contact page we used um, the action to post to the contact form widget then we used all this as well on the contact page the email the phone number then we embed uh, the uh, map the map the static test for map is embedded here then on the products yes this is we listed the product here and uh, on blog page yeah we did we embed this categories we embed categories we embedded um, some post recent posts brands we used profiles for brand and so on and so forth so you can complete all <clears throat> you, can, you can complete all your theme design from here so another very interesting thing is now that you can do the same for your um, for your static files like your style sheets and your JavaScript files so that means I can include some dynamic content in my um, in my 
CSS file. So how do we do this? So I can use basically I'm able to use my um, HTML tag widget tag here, but because CSS doesn't allow HTML tags, we can put the tag in a comment like this. So once it's inside the comments, it works just fine. So this is the opening tag for our mm -hmm. widgets. And um, we're going to have a closing tag somewhere here. We have a closing tag somewhere here. So and what are we doing here? We want to change, we we're trying to change the color um, well, we're trying to change the dominant color into the page carton background color. So we found out that this color, this particular color code, was used a lot in the um, in the CSS file. We found out that the this particular color code we used a lot in the in the file, and this other one too. And this other one, this other one too was used a lot in the code. So we realized that that is the main theme color. So instead of going into the, um, so the easy way to change it is to use the um, class, the uh, search and replace widgets to replace this, this color code with the dynamically generated page carton color code here. So it's any, anywhere it sees this, it will replace it with the page carton background color. So that means that at runtime, our style sheet is going to have the right um, color code um, to display. So that is um, how to generate, so you can embed um your css files even javascript files in your widget using this method so um a lot of examples but these are just the uh, basic things uh, the basic things that you need to know on creating page carton with your html and json syntax i hope you've learned one or two things um from this videos and uh, and text so i want you to you know go ahead and create your own theme and post it and let's see what you can create with um with this and if you have any questions you can always go on pagecarton.org to ask um, leave the contact information and we would get back to you thank you